guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I picked up this um, Samsung Galaxy A7 Lite Android tablet last week and uh, so far it's been super cool. Really happy with it. Now, um, what I want to do in this video is talk about if you have a Synology NAS on your network and you're using a um, Android smartphone or a tablet, well, how can you, uh, let's say, back up files or move files up to the NAS? So that's what I want to cover in this video and I'm going to be just... Uh, uploading a couple of uh, screen recordings I've just done here. So first things first, I wanted to show you guys the apps that might be useful. If you put Synology into Google Play Store, you will find a veritable labyrinth of uh, Synology apps, starting with DS files and Synology Drive. The ones that are useful, in my opinion, for uh, what we want to be doing here are DS file is very good. So this is basically for adminning your uh you know your synology nas over the local network it's got functionalities for moving stuff deleting stuff uploading stuff etc now as you can kind of see from their screenshots it's not a wonderful it definitely lags behind dsm and its average rating is 3.4 there's a few things about it that i'm already kind of unhappy about and i'll talk about those in this video um, there is tons of stuff. Synology Drive is for remotely adminning your NES as a, uh, as a as a as a as an access drive, and DS Video is useful too. This will basically pluck out the video files on your NES and um, just present them for quick streaming. So this is great if you are the use case here would be you have uh, movies on your Synology NES, you want to watch them on your tablet, and uh, you don't have to go through DS file and you know pick out all the videos this thing will just present you your videos and say here you go so it's optimized for video playing even though you can actually do all that through ds file hope that was clear um so those are the two i have on uh now let's talk about let's talk about this uploading process so what you can do let's go into ds file now i've already logged in and to do that you just need the ip address of the NAS, you need your username and password and you will be uh you'll be good to go so this is the uh, volume I've set up. No, not YouTube backup. It is, I get confused by all these volumes I've created. Video backup. So this is a volume on my NAS where like I'm backing up my YouTube videos basically. Um, and I want to keep an original copy of everything I do pretty much um, the, because YouTube compresses stuff. So you think, okay, how can I add a file from my Android tablet? So you'd go on the thing, you'd click on add, and you go on to upload. Now, I get stuck on this screen where it presents me with my file managers, of which I have a couple, and uh, whether they have file access, and I'm like, yep, they have file access, all good. And it just doesn't allow me to really get further. It just kind of rotates like this. So I don't know if I'm missing something. I probably am. Um, it, to me, that's not an intuitive UI. There should be, you know, I should, it should just, use my default file manager, uh, show me the internal Android storage and hit another button, upload and boom, we're done. It goes up to the NES. So I don't know if that can work. Uh, if you know how to do it, leave me a comment. The workaround that I figured out is this. So using one of those file managers, in this case, I'm using, um, I'm using files by Google. And this is a video that's up on YouTube. And let's say I want to back this guy up. Uh, so this particular screen recorder dumps its files into internal storage movie 1v recorder and here is the mp4 I want to upload. So what I want to do here is uh, you can actually do copy to and you can add the NAS um, just into Google files or you can kind of use the other app. So I'm going to do it that way. So click on share. Whoops, I exited out too quickly. So it's a little bit laggy. Let's do that again. All right. This is one of my friends in Ireland. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to be featured in this YouTube video. Um, DS file. And now we're working through the file structure of the uh, Synology. And boom, we're done. So now I just hit done. And now finally our files uploading to the NAS. Now it's about a 54 uh, megabyte file as you saw so and we're moving this over the local network obviously my tablet's connected via wi-fi so you're not going to be getting exactly the top data transfer speeds you might have uh, if this was an ethernet device uploading to another ethernet device but there we go uh, that's finished so it looks like it's up there so now let's verify this and i go into video backup and there i have it my uh, screencast is there and I can just verify that that's the right file. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, more videos coming soon.